No, there is a, there are two ways to create random variables. One of them is using a list and then you create a random variable. Let me just show you this. Uh, it, it doesn't have to be which, you can call it whatever you want. I just chose which, or I could have put it like again, in any other number, you know, list, not list, I can call it uh, <clears throat> something, uh, X, Y, uh, <clears throat> anything. So, so which is a variable and it takes on the numbers randomly from one to four. <clears throat> now here's one thing about it that I, that I, I want you to pay attention to this. Okay, so this number is gonna be selected randomly, but here, here's the power of this. I created a list of males. So I chose a male and I said, well, from the list, give me the names Joseph, Steve, Peter, and Lewis. I can put 20 or 30 names, different names if I want to. I can make this, and then instead of having random four, I can put random 30. Uh, whenever you enter a name or a noun or, or uh, letters, you gotta use a string. Uh, so you use quotation marks, they become a string, okay? Okay, and now, <clears throat> I created a word, a list of words, and uh, they're actually verbs. Talks about, chats with, discusses with, and tells. Again, notice that we put it in quotation marks because they are strings. And then I created a list of females. Notice that they all have four items in it. Martha, Stephanie, Lisa, and Julie, all in quotation marks because they are strings, okay? Now notice one thing. I put Joseph and Martha first, then uh, Steve and Stephanie, Peter and Alicia and Louis and Julie. And then um, I am going to choose a man. Now look at what it does. This, this little command, what it does, I, I create a variable called man and that man is gonna be chosen from the mail list. So it's telling the computer to choose uh, whatever number which is, you know, if it is one, two, three, or four, and say which is number two. So choose the second male from the list. So it would choose Steve. If which is uh, four, then it would choose Lewis, okay? Then I said, uh, Choose another one, you know, uh, uh, again, I have a list of verbs. And so that verb is gonna be chosen from the, the word list. Here is the word list, talks about, chats with, discuss, tells, okay? Notice that I'm using the same variable. The power of this is this, that if the variable which is number one, then, I can create a sentence that says, Joseph talks about Martha. If the which variable is two, then I can create a sentence that says, Steve chats with Stephanie. And, and again, and so on. So if the variable which happens to be the random number four, so this is gonna choose the four, the fourth words from the list. So Louis tells Julie. And so let me show you another one. And uh, again, uh, I created a, list, a, a variable called woman and the woman is gonna be chosen from the female list. Oh, so again, uh, and it's chosen by this variable. Now here's the coolest thing about it. Again, if which is number one, it's gonna associate the first name with the first verb with the first female, okay? Now, I also created another one called the man, yeah? Now, this one is different. This one is gonna choose any random male from this list. So it can choose Peter, and then I am choosing a any random verb from the word list. So Peter could be telling Martha. So this one has no, no, no order. Now this one has order. And let me show you the way it works. Uh, 
So I created the first one, member woman has order. That's number one, number two, number three, and here is which, okay? And this is the one that has no order. So take a look at this. When I create, uh, when I calculate new values, it says Peter discusses with Alicia and is always gonna discuss with Alicia. Louis tells Martha, now take a look at this. Steve chats with Stephanie. And Steve is always gonna be associated with Stephanie through the which uh, variable. This is the which variable. So when it is number two, Steve is number two on the list and Stephanie is number two on the list. Now these ones are all random. Uh, take a look at the next one. Uh, number one is Joseph's number one, Martha's number one, talks about is number one. Now this one is totally different. Everything is random. Uh, oh, pure coincidence, okay, uh, that they all aligned. Uh, Steve chats with Stephanie, Steve discusses with Stephanie. This will never change. This will always yield the same values. These ones are all random males with random females and random verbs. Um, what's the power of this? Well, you're creating a, uh, you know, historical events, you're creating rules and, uh, and things that are associated uh, with each other. Um, then you wanna use the which variable. If you just want an enrichment uh, sentence, then you can just mix and match. Just make sure that the, the verb and the nouns and the numbers, you know, plurals uh, match plurals. Uh, so I hope this, this helps, okay? And this is what it looks like. And again, I can click on this and it will create many different sentences. Uh, the power of this is, is incredible.